Hello, my friends, and welcome again to the complete Kotlin course. In this video, we are going to continue with functions. And we have seen before that functions can return a value. And we can store this value inside a variable or a constant. Now, there are many thoughts, many questions that, for, for, uh, that uh, you can ask about uh, functions and their uh, working. I will give you a hypothesis. If I need to make a function, a function that prints the entered value. So I can uh, pass like, uh, I will create fun, like uh, display, display number. And I pass here um, value of type int, okay? And what, uh, display print print ln welcome welcome or uh, you entered you entered the and display the value, okay? You are asked to make a function that display the entered value as a number. So I ca call the method display number and I pass six. Let's run and see. And it's working fine. You entered six. Now, the question here or the thoughts, if I pass like six, it is of type string, but it complies. The user can enter a number in a string, okay? So the, the letter in letters, okay? You entered six, but there is an error preventing me from running. And we have said there is a mismatch in the types. Mismatch in first type is a string, but uh, int uh, was expected. It needs int here but the passing uh, int, uh, string will be, or the passing value would be a string. I need to create a function like display letters. And it took value as perimeter of type string and print ln. You entered value. Okay. And I need to change display letter. Now it works. Okay. You entered six. But this is not the solution. I can't make many functions and they called the exact function that the user uh, will enter. I am not with him with, uh, during the runtime to tell him, hey, I need to use display letter function. And now you are using display number. There is a whole bunch of problems. The solution is by making an overloading functions. What does this mean? What if you want more than one function with the same name? This is called overloading and lets you define similar functions using a single name. So I can create display number. It's the same. Same naming. Okay, you see guys, no error here. However, the compiler must still be able to tell the difference between these functions within a given scoop. Whenever you call a function, it should always be clear which function you are calling. This is usually achieved through a difference in the parameter list, a different number of parameters and different parameters types, okay? So, for example, defining these two methods will result in 
if I call it display number. Okay, now it called this not this method. If I pass here six, it calls this method. You see, guys, the difference in the color of the naming. You see, this is call this called the method that have an integer value. If I pass six in letters as a string, it, it will call the display number uh, this function. Okay, so this is this is called a method overloading or function overloading. Let's run and see. And here you entered six. If I call the same method and I enter six, let's run and see. And here we go, guys. This is the very the the very important thing about of method overloading and function overloading. You entered six. The compiler knows here that it is a string, so it calls the second function. The func the function display number with six as a number. It knows that it is the display number that it accepts the integer type, okay? So method overloading depends on the type of the parameter and the number of parameters. Let me show that we have seen the type of parameter like int or string, it, uh, it defined and it distinguished between them. So here we have uh, no, known that it is the display function this is the function that we need there is the second the second thing that method overloading works on it and uh, detect it is function display name is the same name display number and i need to pass value 1 as a string uh, sorry as an int I need to pass value to as an int also and here print ln you entered value one and value two okay you see guys that we have defined the three functions one for and with the same name one having an int as parameter the second is the string parameter and the third having two parameters of integer type and only one is called because we have defined this function and I'm calling this function above. Now, I will call the display number here. Display number. And we have, for the IDE, we have three possibilities. I can pass an int. I can pass a string. Or I can pass two integers. Okay, I will pass 14. And if I pass the second perimeter, it is a very smart uh, IDE. It removes value. It continues with int. But we have, this is the possibility, the bigger possibility to enter a second number. So value one and value two is entered. Now let's run and see. We have called the first method to, ent to be entering six. And the second method is passing 14 and seven. So you entered 14 and seven, okay? This is the importance of overloading. The methods above or here have the same name, parameter types of number of, and the number uh, of parameters. But we have here, different number of parameters so as i told you method overloading depends on the 
the type of perimeter, please write them down, method overloading, please write this node down, overloading, depends on one type of perimeters the second thing is the number of parameters okay this is how the method overloading works.